Hey, what's up you Blender nerds? <laughs> Welcome to my first video tutorial here on Blender. Today I'm just gonna show you the basics of the basics. Like how to get started, like the first time you open the program, you're like, what the hell is all this? So obviously you won't be able to create stuff like this, like this rig I have right over here with all these control for the fingers. Wait a second. Anyway, it usually works. <laughs> so uh, I'll have to fix this. Like everything. Anyway. So before we get started, I'm just gonna show you something. Two sites that are, that are really good with Blender tutorials. First one is Blender Cookie. It has a ton, like a ton of tutorials. like. You can choose the difficulty, like beginner, here, and they have all kind of stuff. This is uh, this video I watched it uh, a couple days ago for my rig, and yeah, they have some pretty cool stuff. You can check out modeling. You can uh, subscribe to be a citizen to get other tutor tutorial that on that are only available to citizens. And the other side is Blender Guru. Most of you already know it. He makes pretty advanced tutorial, tutorial on creating some really cool stuff like uh, underground subway, flamethrower, and like a suspension bridge, like all that stuff. So it's really cool. So I suggest you to check out this this uh, this website. This is what you see when you first open Blender. Please note that I'm using version 2.62 right now. So, because it's the newest one. To orbit around like this in the viewport, you press the wheel. To move everything like this, you press shift and the wheel. So it's gonna move everything. If you wanna change the views, you press 7. It's gonna be top view, you press 1, it's the front view, you press 3, it's the side view. If you wanna change to orthographic view, you press 3, uh, 5, sorry, 5. If you wanna go into camera view, you press 0. So it's pretty simple. You left click here, it's the 3D cursor. So to select something, is a right click, to deselect it's A, you press A. So, the 3D cursor is when you add something, like a plane, it's going to add up there. To access this little menu, you press Shift A. And you can add all, kind, all, all kinds of things. Okay, now if you press Tab, it's going to go in Edit Mode. So we can switch back in object and edit mode. If you press G on your keyboard, it's gonna move. R is for rotate. You press R another time, you can rotate like this. If you press S, it's gonna scale up and down. Also, you can select specific values like S2, it's gonna scale up two times. If you, let's see, you press S and X, it's gonna only scale on the X axis. And this works also for the rotation and and out when you move, like G, X. It only moves on the X axis. Here you can change, you can press Shift and select these, these controls, like so you can rotate on axis like this and scale. It's pretty much just the same thing. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the viewport. Oh, and also, if you press, let's say, I add a plane, I'm gonna just show you, because I want to show you something here, in, it's the outliner. The outliner is, pretty much it shows you what there is, what is in the scene. Like here, I just added the plane, it shows here. If you wanna, hide it from the viewport, press H, and it's gonna shut the eye. 
so you won't see it anymore but it's gonna appear in the render if you shut this off it's not gonna appear in the render also another cool thing you can do is you select this and you shift select this one and then you press ctrl p to parent one to the other so this one here is the parent and it's gonna show right here it shows also the hierarchy of the objects so that's pretty cool so yeah that's it that's pretty much it for the outliner here we have the timeline it's nothing fancy you can set the start and the end this is when you render it's gonna render let's say you render an image sequence it's gonna render from the start frame to the end frame here it shows the current frame of the cursor if you want to play you press alt a it's gonna play but there's nothing to play right now and you can also press play right here just something I want you to notice if you if you select this right here you can split the viewport so let's say you want to have a camera view right here oh in this menu you can press T to hide it and N to make another one pop up but I'm gonna to talk to you about this a little later okay so if you split this and let's say go top view and G to move it's gonna move like this and if you take the parent just to show you and move it it's gonna move the child that's pretty cool okay now I'm gonna just gonna close this and switch back to the default I want to show you here what are these things first and then if you have cycles render it's gonna be everything's gonna be a, a little bit different so I'm just gonna show you with the blender render right now the first thing render is when you render an image so just to say this is the this tab is your render tab you can see render so this is all the properties for your render like layers well it's more complicated stuff here are the dimensions and the frame rate and everything and the utilizing for better edges like if you turn it up it's gonna look like this you can see right here the jagged edges the motion blur it's pretty self-explanatory shading you can turn off things to calculate in the render performance only thing I know is like the tiles of square that renders at the same time so if you boost this up sometimes it's better post processing if you set this to off you cannot use the node compositor for the render and some more complicated stuff our in output is basically just the output uh, the output file the directory when you render something so moving on the world there's nothing it's pretty complicated I don't really use this but some cool there are some cool stuff here you can change here the mid metric so these will be like meters or imperial and this is gonna be foot so notice how the gr grid change accordingly so it's pretty cool so here's the gravity let's say you have a simulation in the scene and you want the gravity to be stronger you change this right here or let's say you have a simulation of the moon you can change it right here the world here you can set up ambient occlusion environmental lighting and direct lighting and all the stuff that I'm gonna show you later on this is to change like the, the world lighting and, and all that stuff here the object the properties of the object you can show the display whatever you want here is the location the rotation and the uh, location rotation and the scale of your object you can change it right here if you want also okay here I don't really know what this is so okay mm, here you can lock let's say you lock rotation so or here's the location so it's only gonna rotate let's say on this axis and move only gonna move on this axis so this can be useful when you rig when you rig a, a character 
here is the parent let's say when you have another object and you parent this one to the other the parent here is going to show up okay moving on here we have a bunch of other stuff but it's more complicated stuff here the constraint is is for animation basically it's like linking objects together here modifiers there are a bunch of modifiers they're really useful for modeling let's say array array modifier <coughs> sorry my voice you can like this is pretty cool for let's say making a brick wall there's some others also like this one smooths the object and creates subdivisions There's a bunch of others like mirror, shrink wrap, displays, but I'm gonna get into this later. Here it's the properties, the editing properties, like you can create <coughs> a ver vertex group and select for your object. Well, anyway. Okay shape key this is also more advanced stuff uv maps for texture vertex color if you want to change the color of your vert of the vertices so here the material tab is a lot different than in the cycles render i'm just going to show you this in a moment okay so yeah the render tab you can see right here it's pretty visual pretty simple you can change the fuse the intensity the color can put in a texture you want can change the specular transparency mirror sub subsurface scattering all kinds of stuff here in the texture if you were to put a texture in here you would put it here and you can change the influence let's say you want the texture to act on geometry to create a bump map or you want to add to make it influence the intensity of the specular you would change this here here, sorry. Here is a particle system. Let's say you want to have a particle system on your object. It, there's a lot of settings, but they come pretty handy sometimes. Here are the physics. Let's say, let's say I'm gonna put. Uh, just a little demonstration. Say you have soft body. Oh, I'm just gonna uncheck soft body goal, and it's create a simulation for soft body. Pretty cool. Whoa. Okay, I've shown you with the Blender render what it looks like. Well, a lot of stuff here is the same, but I'm just gonna show you with the cycles render. Cycles render here, it's very different. You can feature set, experimental. Well, just forget about that. Okay. There's some different stuff here, dimensions the same. Okay, integrator here is the samples. The only thing I think you have to worry about. It's not like ambient inclusion or stuff. You only have to worry about samples. For preview is when you go into rendered view and the number of samples if you have zero it's infinite sample for the render is the number of symbols for the render so yeah that's pretty much it for the this tab okay moving on this is the same and this is only the word color of the world but it's nice because it affects like the color of the it creates lighting on the scene so it's very natural here is the same here's the same also and here also okay right here when you create a new a new texture a new material it's a lot different it's node based <coughs> it's node based sorry <coughs> So you won't, 
you will not do the same thing. Like let's say I want the glass. So render no, sorry. It's gonna create like a something like glass. So if you want to add, <coughs> add like a glass of water or if you want to have like windows, you would choose this material. Okay, so I'm just gonna go into this a little later. Here are the textures, but if you want to put a texture on the material, you would click right here. No, sorry. You would click the color right here and set image texture because here it wouldn't, it would just like create a texture but not link it right here so it's very different but when you get the hang of it it's really awesome okay here's the particle system and the physics it's the same thing so i think that's pretty much it for the first tutorial this was it was just a basic overview of the interface next time i'm gonna show you how to set up some basic materials and how to start to edit so you can model some some shape so I hope to see you in the next tutorial and if you don't if you are another subscriber I suggest you to subscribe because I'm gonna put more blender tutorials so stay tuned for the future videos goodbye